Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Laus and this is another tutorial of Angels Mods. This time we're looking into a new version of Smelting, so the old version is no longer valid. The Smelting version has matured a lot lately and now it's uh, it really justifies another tutorial on this. But let's start with the very basics of smelting. The smelting is the process of going from... Um, yes, ignore that, that's just my base uh, idling here. Now. Um, the process of going from an ore to a finished product. In this case, it is to the plates, but in a lot of cases in more advanced stuff, you can see the smelting mod has been split into smelting and casting. I'll only deal with the, the smelting part in this episode and then dive into the casting part in the next episode. Now, this is the very basic one, the one you get at the very beginning when you're playing Angel's Mod, 67% efficiency, three crushed ore becomes two, uh, Iron plates. Well, that can easily be improved if you manage to, for example, sort it into iron ore. In this case, let's start it up. That's why it's there. It goes in and you get a one to one. My recommendation to Angel is remove this one because I think this is uh, this is fine for the very basic because it's inefficient. But as long as you want to improve the efficiency, I think you should use this one, which is part of the Angel smelting. As long as the smelting mod is active, this should be the default one. Here I'm, I'm again starting it up. We have ore coming in. This goes into this process where it takes 24 inbound and makes 24 iron ingots. The iron ingots is then used for the casting process, which we'll go into in a later episode, and then will result as uh, as iron plates in the end. The ratio here is trying to be kept constant as 12 uh, 12 ores inbound and 12 ingots outbound. So 100% efficiency at the cost of some fuel. Now, if you want to increase the efficiency with the smelting mod, because that's all there is to it, the smelting mod is about increasing the efficiency at the cost of space, uh, some fuel and some production, uh, no pollution, sorry. But in this case, you can increase the efficiency by 50% simply by, let's enable it, by adding some coke. You can see here, there's another intermediate step. First, the ore becomes processed. That goes from, a, from eight ore per second into four process per second. Then it goes into the next step and blast furnace where it is combined with coke and it also needs to burn something so burn the coke while we're at it and that is uh, goes again from eight processed iron into 24 iron ingots so that's a multiplication back up by uh, by three so we get back to this process so you can see here it's running it requires a bit more fuel but aside from this and one more step now if we really want to get to the maximum efficiency this is the process uh, to work with iron smelting, 200% efficiency. It requires limestone and coke. Now the first part is worth noting. This part here, this is going to be the same for everyone. So get used to it. Six ore in, uh, three processed and 12 pellets out. That's gonna be exactly the same for everyone. So build it like this, three to two, it'll work uh, perfectly. I also recommend that you end the process with the ingots because that will be a nice uh, balance and do not proceed directly to the casting. Can't put the casting somewhere else because you're going to need to combine the ingots. Now, after we get the pellets here, they're being compressed into pellets at a factor ratio of four, uh, three process to 12 iron pellets. It goes into blast furnace where the magic happens. It's actually just a one-to-one -one conversion. So the efficiency gain is earlier, but this is the necessary step. Here we can paint the pellets with some coke and limestone. The limestone may, you may be even familiar with. This is a new product as part of the refining mod, I believe. But anyway, when you play Angel's mod, you play all of them. So that comes from the seafloor pump. And you can see a more detailed guide in my tutorial on washing and sodium chain. Now, the part where this mod has matured a lot is the fact that this process is very efficient, it's very clean. This process you can see here, it's, it's very modular, easy to build up, easy to expand. It doesn't take a ridiculous amount of space it did so earlier, uh, as long as you end it with the ingot level. Now, what also is, is sort of on the maturity level is the fact that the, each process for each of the 16, let's have here, each of the 16 ores that we have available, 13 from Bob's mods plus three new one added by Angel, manganese chrome and platin platinum i don't think it's platinum i think that's like aluminum anyway that's a different matter and uh, let's start the 
copper process and have a look at it. So you can recognize the first part here. We go to the process, we go to the pellets, and that's this is where it differs. It's always like this. This is always the same. So this process, it happens in a blast furnace where we take the pellets and combine with oxygen gas. We are at this point not exploring the lesser efficiency ones, but only looking at the maximum efficiency. So we need oxygen, sulfuric acid, and fuel. Get this here. Um, the coke here is used as fuel for this process. And this is creating a lot of anodes. Anodes go into this process here, uh, where we can see that they are being transformed into uh, into the ingots. I can actually see now that this says speed six. I was not aware of that. So you can see this one is speed four. Uh, so actually I would need one more of these. I actually need three to make this ratio uh, ideal. Keep that in mind. So this one is a bit off. So it needs to go from two of these to three others. Now let's zoom move on to some more different ones just to get an idea. Now let's look at the cobalt process. Let's start it up. Again, looking at the 200% efficiency, it requires sulfuric acid, some calcium, calcium chloride. That's a nasty thing. It's really difficult. Carbon, that's also a bit more complicated to get. So you can see here now it's becoming more complex as we are looking at the more advanced uh, materials. Again, the process is the same. This goes in here. Um, let's see the first one here. We now need a chemical plant where we take take some acid and combine it here to make cobalt hydroxide. The cobalt hydroxide goes into the next process combined with the calcium chloride and makes cobalt oxide. So first hydroxide and then oxide and then the last step where we just simply use carbon on top of the cobalt oxide. I suppose that carbon frees up the oxygen for CO2 and that leaves us with some cobalt ingots. Pretty, pretty okay process. It takes a while to get all the materials. And this is one of the tricky parts of this mod is, okay, so now you need three more materials in for the cobalt smelting. With robots, that's of course easy. Now let's look at one of the worst ones. Um, <laughs> this is aluminium. Very annoying. You can see it requires sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide, coke, carbon, and carbon dioxide. So three different carbon-based items and two sodium based. This two sodium ones, keep in mind those come from the sodium process, um, the sodium process chain that's been added to petrochemicals, but it's particularly useful for this part aside from just getting chlorine. Now let's look at it. The first process is always the same. Here we have this process. Uh, you can see it's actually six seconds. So this one should actually be three of those instead of two. This goes into this one, which is at a four. So I should have three of these. I'm not quite sure I agree to that. I think that they should all be the same, but eh, what do I know? Um, you can see here, this is now getting more complex. You need the aluminium pellets combined with sodium carbonate. That's a pretty annoying thing to, cra to craft and some Coke that goes in here gets combined with two more items, sodium aluminate, this is what we made before, add some sodium hydroxide, that's a lot of sodium in this formula, and throw in some carbon dioxide. What it actually results is that we will get some of the sodium carbonate back, that's why we have this return process that goes in here. It is not completely stable because this one will re require three and produce 18, and this one will be needing 24, but then only generating two out. So. It, it won't be stable, but it'll compensate a bit. But you still need to beat it with uh, sodium carbonate. And the last step, add carbon, and then you have some aluminium ingots. Pretty okay. There's a bit of a, the balancing here going on. And then we'll just take the last uh, two of these. Um, this one is lead. It should actually be okay, but I wanted to illustrate this one for no other reason than the hexafluorosilicic acid. Hmm, how about that? Let's get uh, get it started, our lead process. So in order for something as simple as lead, which you don't need a lot of, and you get a hell of a lot of this, you have a very, very complex process to get the 200% efficiency. My recommendation, use the very simple one for lead because you will have plenty of lead ore from random sorting processes and you don't really need a lot. So this is just to show you because you'll probably never build it yourself process here goes in and you can see here already at this point we need limestone we need coke and we need oxygen gas just to work this up into some lead anodes and then we get some return uh, sulfuric acid i just vented here 
don't see the, the point. And here, this is where it gets dicey because this little process up here takes hydrofluoric acid, combines it with silicon, and then we make this hexafluorosilic silicic acid. And the whole point of that is just piping it into this one in order to get the anode back into that ingot form and then we get some bonus slack out of it. Very complex process for something that is completely irrelevant. Now the last one I want to highlight, and we're getting close to the aliens up here, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, I need to fix something, but that's a, a different matter. Now this one, I have built this one to scale, uh, put some effort into it, and because this is uh, the end state, the tungsten, this is the more complicated part of Angel's mod, uh, or Bob's mod, the last one you need. And in order for doing that, you uh, need quite a bit of process, and you can see here it scales out quite wildly. This process is the same, three uh, processing machines to two pellet press. It's the same, but I'm just putting it out here because then we need to scale into four chemical furnaces. That's why this setup spreads out. And then again, even more. This one just takes ammonia. Well, ammonia is something you really need once you get to the rocket fuel stage. But in this case, you put in some hydrofluoric acid, which is yeah a pain in the ass to get. You get it as a residual from the acid process of petrochemicals. You take the acid and you crack it and you get hydrofluoric. That's about the only way you really get it. So keep that in mind. That's, uh, this is where you're going to need it for the tungsten. And you can see the tungsten then becomes a tung tungsten hexafluoride as gas. Right. Let's put that in here. Luckily, nothing more is added to it. It just combines into two different materials it comes into the tungsten powder out of tungsten and also some fluoride ore fluoride ore the fluoride ore it can as far as i know is not the same fluoride ore as being used for the uranium power mod for some reason but it uh, this will be only be useful to craft new hydrofluoric acid so at least you get something back and this process here is a 200 percent efficiency process it requires ammonia and requires high requires hydrofluoric acid so this part is not too bad but actually the scaling part here is it, it's not good I, I think this is too many machines you don't want six of those to to keep running and there are no better options than the mk2 so that's uh, actually because i chose the mk2 i shouldn't have that many but if, if i've had everything i've used mk once with a speed of one just so you can see the the difference here now this is the introduction there are tons more you can see how many more there are but it doesn't make sense to go through all of them the process is basically the same you have this standard three to two ratio and then you go into something more advanced where every step requires some additional uh, items like ammonia hydrofluoric acid oxygen limestone coke hexafluorosilic silicic acid and then as well here for everyone even for the very basic ones require quite a lot the part that I really think is is the worst is actually the copper one because you need so much copper and that is going to eat up oxygen no problem you can just literally rip it out of the air but the hydrofluoric acid hydrofluoric acid sorry is yeah you're going to need to generate this consistently in order to feed your copper production if you want 200 percent efficiency limestone dime a dozen you get so much of it from just the seaflow pumps and coke yeah whatever that's just uh, anything you got to use your um, your coal for something so with that that's the introduction to the new smelting mod i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something it seems daunting but i hope i can help demystify it so that it becomes sort of these more controlled little units that generate the ingots in bulk for later on so with that thank you very much for joining i hope to see you in another tutorial i either in the tutorial or in one of my campaigns Thank you for joining and see you another time. Cheers.